Good morning from Jordan Hare Stadium on sort of a blustery fall Wednesday. Auburn and Ole Miss this weekend, a big SEC matchup. It's actually striped the stadium this Saturday. But before we stripe the stadium, we have to stripe the field. No one knows how to do that better than the university's athletic turf grass manager, Eric Kleipas. Eric, talk about uh, we don't see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. We turn a game on on a Saturday or we, um, we are here at the ball game. We don't see all of this. Tell us what's going on and how much effort you guys have to put in to make this work. Sure. So field prep kind of starts immediately after the last football game. Right after the game, you'll see us come out. We'll mow with buckets on, collect clippings. We're rolling the field back smooth, mowing, getting the debris up, and getting everything ready. We're trying to speed that recovery process for the next week. So the sooner we get out and start the healing process, the better. So we're going to mow. We're going to pick up trash. And then as soon as TV gets out of the way, we're going to turn on the irrigation to start the healing process. Then as we get into the, into the next game week, we're going to start by painting our lines. Our lines dictate where all the logos go, numbers, hash marks. We'll paint the lines on either Monday or Tuesday and then put our stencils out for the logos. Now our stencils are just huge sheets of plastic with little holes in them. So we'll lay those sheets of plastic out, paint with aerosol can the little holes, and when you remove it up, you see this, you get the connect the dots finished product. So from there, we'll start painting. Uh, we'll do two coats of paint on all our logos and uh, borders just to keep them good and vibrant. And we're going to mow throughout the week. Now, some people, once they start painting, will stop mowing for the week. We want a fast field, so we do it a little bit differently. We'll mow in between paints just to keep the, the grass tight and have a fast field for Saturday. How much does weather come into play this week? We had some rain early. Does that affect you guys at all? How does that work? Sure. It, it just adapts your plan. Uh, it depends on when you start painting, when we're going to put out our fertilizer, when we're mowing. So you kind of have to adjust everything. You know, wet paint doesn't dry if it's raining. It doesn't dry if it's overcast. So we're going to factor in the weather and also shade from something like our new scoreboard in the south end zone to dictate what time of day we paint so that it'll dry before the next painting or before we mow. How many gallons of paint will you use to prep the game week to week? We average about 250 gallons of orange, blue, and white paint. So it's a lot of paint. It comes in five-gallon buckets of concentrated goop almost, and then we blend it with water to the consistency we want okay. for each color. Now, you're an Auburn graduate, and you're the one in charge of these fields. What's that like, being back here uh, at your alma mater and, and taking care of this? It's just fun. You know, as, as you're in school and, and you see the stadium over here, it's kind of in the back of your head. If I'm going to grow grass for a living, this is where I want to do it. So. It's an honor to graduate from Auburn and then get to stay in Auburn and maintain an athletic field. And it's not just Jordan-Hare Stadium, Pat Dye Field. It's the whole gamut of fields. Talk about that and the responsibility of taking care of all those. It, it's sometimes a juggling act because today we're painting the stadium. Uh, we're getting ready for softball practice, for baseball practice, for soccer practice. So we have guys kind of moving around like musical chairs, making sure everything gets done each day. And what's the biggest challenge of doing what you're doing out here at the football stadium? Probably weather. Everything's weather dependent. Uh, it always looks good on Saturdays on television. Appreciate all you do and War Eagle. War Eagle.